All right, what's up YouTube? So today I'm gonna be showing you guys the new Hecarim jungle setup that you need to run. So if you guys notice, right, in one of the last jungle videos I had done, I wasn't going Tiamat and I actually went Conqueror instead of Phase Rush. And I saw a couple of comments about it um, asking how, like, uh, why aren't you going Tiamat anymore and all these questions, right? And the reason is because going Tiamat, uh, one of the main problems is that you're just like too squishy in the mid to late game and you can't really 1v5, right? But going for this setup with Ravenous Hunter and Sudden Impact allows you to really get a lot of healing in, not only for like your jungle fears, but also get a lot of um, healing in for like team fights, right? Uh, so when you're running this, what you want to be doing is you want to start on blue, and then you pat you do like your normal six camp clear, right? So you start blue, uh, and then you go Gromp, Wolves, and then we're gonna clear our top side, and then we should be on the um, on the top side scuttle at level four to match the volley bear. Right. So we're just gonna keep taking it. So I'm gonna show you guys a trick that I showed you in one of the um, Hecarim tips and tricks videos, uh, which is how to preserve your Q stacks, right? So what you do is you want to get wolf kind of low, and then you drag it out like this, and then you just finish it off. And now you see how we keep our Q stacks. So now we have it for the Raptor camp. So the reason you want to start blue is because it always allows you to keep your um your Q stacked, and you never run out of mana, right? So you can just keep it for the entire duration. And we should finish our clear at about like 3.10 to 3.15, something around there. So we're gonna smite this now. I'll save my W for the Krugs here. Oh, my second potion. Just so I can be as healthy as I can possibly be. So yeah, so you guys see how we're finishing our six camp clear and it's gonna be like around 3.10. This like pathing is just super super efficient, super super efficient. So Riven's actually pretty low, so I can go for a dive on this if I wanted to. Oh, is there? Okay, I guess he's not looking at his screen right now. Uh, you know what I'll do? Perfect. All right, not bad. So we start off with a double kill, and then since I see he took four camps, I'm gonna, or he took five camps, right? So I'm gonna assume he started on his red since he had double buffs, and went all the way into top clear without taking his Krugs. So I think what I'll do is I'll just grab top scuttle, and then we'll go bot scuttle afterwards, and then maybe invade him on his Krugs or afters. Actually, Riven's coming back to lane, and she's running this guy down. She just burned flash as well, so we can kill her. Really easy for me. I'm hoping this doesn't go bad. Uh... Okay, should we get here? Yeah, okay, she's up. Wow, she. <laughs> that's so sad. That's so sad. Whatever. That's alright. If she stays, her acting can just cyber and then we get him a kill. Alright. So, as for the build path now, you always want to start with your Sheen, right? Always start with your Sheen and. Um, just rush Trinity Force. So you, with this uh, build, you're looking to rush Trinity Force and then build Death's Dance, right? So you go Trinity Force and then tier two boots, either Merc Treads, Ninja Tabby. It doesn't really matter. It depends on what you need in the current game, right? So this game, I'm going to go Tabby since I have 3 AD. Uh, so we're going to run Tabby and then we're going to go our Death's Dance and then probably get Sterax into probably Spur Visage, I think. Should be the best itemization. So just clear this. I'll clear towards bot side because I see that they're bot shoving in. I don't wanna kinda wanna be there to punish it. Okay, cut our two sacks as well. Viper should have taken bot scuttle. He really should be down right now, so. Just take Gromp and then we'll look for a kill on Misfortune. And maybe even Karma. I can potentially also go mid, but she does have flash, so she can just flash away. And if she has her flash as well, then it's too, right? So this is gone. I'm gonna run bot here. Viper is coming in. The ship. All right. Not bad. I'm just gonna take Ash's cannon here because you know we gave her the kill, so we gotta we gotta get a get a gold as well, you know. Okay, look at this. Look at this. 
gonna go for one shot on Karma. <laughs> she tried uh, sawing the way for MF, but unfortunately it didn't work out as she planned. You know, I could go for a dive here. Oh my god. Alex is smurfing. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna keep you sacks and then we can just dive this. Alright, one auto, perfect. So now we can just reset. Uh, I started my clear on Raptors, which means Raptors should be respawning soon. We also see that Top Skull is respawning. So what I'll probably do is I'll go Krugs into Top Scuttle, go Raptors, finish full clear, and then go for another bot gank. Just try to optimize as much as we can. Because the thing about Hecarim, right, is that he has a very linear style of um, playing. Because due to his Q-Sacks, you'll always want to clear camps that are near each other so you can keep Q-Sacks, right? Um, just to make everything as efficient as possible. So that's why you should always be starting on one side and just coming towards the other side. Okay, so we're going to grab our bugs. Mm, you know what? I think Volley's going to be near topside soon. Because he should have respawned and then went to his red buff. And then gone Raptors and now he should be around topside. So maybe we'll actually find him on Scuttle. That's what I'm hoping for. I can't. Uh, I accidentally put on attack champions only so I can hit the skull. Lucky. Mm, can probably get Zoe here. Yeah. That's gonna die to hit. I'll just go. I'll invade his top side since I assume he's top, right? We'll be alright. I'll be alright. Grab this blue, and then what I'll probably do is I'll grab blue and then gank ribbon, and afterwards go for the red buff. So just smite this. I won't have Q stacks up, but it's it's alright. Mm. Is she just gonna run? I could go for Rift Herald here, but I don't really want to. I kind of just want to get as much of a gold lead as I can possibly get right now. Alright, Volibear is ganking mid. Not going to go to counter gank that just yet. Sick on this. I'll actually clear both these camps. Out. So this is actually something I've been doing recently. And it's you can actually clear the red buff and the raptors at the same time. Alright, just by doing this. It makes clearing actually a lot easier. Gonna, oh wait. <laughs> I wanted to drag it out so I could keep Q-Sacks for Wolves, but I didn't realize that the patience was out. It's alright though. It's alright though, we're chilling. We're just gonna full clear our bot side now and then go for a double kill bot lane, reset, and then finish our Triforce. It gives a lot of gold. I mean it does, right? But we can kinda just chill. Because you can't get two uh you can't get two Rift Heralds before 14 minutes. Which means if, even if I get it at like 12 minutes, I can still drop it for plates and it'll, it'll, it won't really impact too much. But if I just keep optimizing my clear right now, it's going to be a lot better. I'm going to go for this, and then I'll go bot here to make it super, super easy. This isn't warded, good. I'm gonna go for the Krugs, stack my Q, and then dive the Karma afterwards. If she stays, I'll just kill her right now, though. I right, know she's reset. Alright, scout out Volibar's bot side. Here. Let me just grab this, and then I'll look at his bot side. Okay, she's still here. Right. Oh no. <laughs> I don't know, I'm actually sad. I wasn't in range for that. I have a TP coming in as well. I might die here, honestly. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> Wait, they're literally 5 bot. Yeah, this is not a good time. You know what? Maybe I can, maybe I can turn this. Oh, 
And that's what I mean, guys. Like, I'm telling you. Ravenous Hunter with Conqueror. <laughs> like, you see, even Misfortune, yeah? She's not having it. Like, Ravenous Hunter with Conqueror just gives you so much healing. It's really, 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 really crazy. Like, it's actually crazy. I'm not gonna bother going for a dragon right now, even though I could. The smart play would be to go for a dragon, but I feel like this game's over, so we won't really need to play for so. Just reset here. Do you use last stand? Yes. So this is the rune set you want to go for. It's Conqueror, Triumph, uh, Legend, Tenacity, Last Stand, and then Sudden Impact, Ravenous Hunter. And for your three rune stats, you want double damage with armor. Alright. Grab Tabby, and then we'll start building our death stand, so we'll be good. Now we're good. Um, looks like Renekton's taking the Herald. You know what, I'm at the point now where it's like, I don't really want to farm. I want to kind of look for kills around the map and just get as many as I possibly can. So I'll just take this, and then we can kill these two. That's a triple. Not bad. I'm just gonna take. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna sit mid just so I can leech off of this gold here. Why not Slurry? So, the reason you don't go for Sorcery Secondary when you're running this setup is because you're really going for. Um, so, you, you just need precision and domination. That's the only thing. And you never upgrade your Smite either. So, going Sorcery Secondary isn't good since you're not benefiting from Nimbus Cloak, right? Uh, it just makes more sense to go for. Like, if you're, because you're never supposed to upgrade uh, your smite item with this build. Ever. There's some right here. Okay, nice. But do you guys see the healing? Like, you see how I'm just healing off of everything? Ravenous Hunter has healed me for 3,000 this game, and we're only 13 minutes in. But yeah, no, this is, um,. This isn't like a troll build or anything guys, like I'm telling you this is the new Hecarim jungle setup. I've been running it on my main a lot recently, and I just think it's really like a lot better than uh, Phase Rush. Because I feel like with Phase Rush, you can get leads early, but then after the early game, you don't really get leads anymore, right? Um, you'll kind of just like fall off, you won't really survive in fights, but this just gives you the survivability to kill everybody. Alright. I think I'll just grab my red buff and then look for a couple kills. Yeah, that works. Enemy team should FF in a minute. So you know what? Before they FF, I want to get another kill or two. I really, really do. I'm gonna take that. All right, let's just get ridden. She's shoved up kind of far, so I can just run in through here and then wrap around and kill her. Even without ult, yeah. Should be able to just one shot with yeah. Alrighty. We'll go for volley now. <laughs> this guy thinks he can farm his jungle camps, man. I feel bad for him. He just wants to chill. Alright. I think the game's done now. Not bad. What is MF doing? <laughs> oh, she tried. At least she tried. Let's turn back. Go crit, do it. Mm, some other time. I've already done crit Hecarim in the past. You know, I might actually do another crit Hecarim build someday. If you guys really, really want a secret Hecarim, just let me know, and I can probably get another one in. Jungle, mid, top, whatever it is. Fun. So yeah, typically, um, full build is going to look like Triforce with Death Stance into Sterax, and then probably like Spurvisage with Thornmail. That's like what I would build had they not FF, but that's yeah, a new jungle setup. 